And we are learning a little more tonight from employees about a hazmat situation at Blue City Brewery in Southeast Memphis today. Ten people exposed to a dangerous mixture of chemicals were transported to the hospital. Our WRG's Melissa Moon is outside the plant on East Rains Road with the very latest. And Melissa, what are the employees saying? Well, they're saying it was a scary situation and that those chemicals were strong. Now, one person was taken to the hospital in critical condition. The others are expected to be okay. Employees evacuated from Blue City Brewery Tuesday after two disinfectants were mixed together, creating what the fire department says was a corrosive vapor. What we've been told is hydrochloric acid and chlorine. This worker didn't want to be identified. He says it was in another area of the plant when the call came over their radios to get out of the building. They just told us to evacuate to the front yard, but we could smell coming, uh, coming to the front. We could smell it because we drove through it, and it was, it was, it was pretty rough. Blue City Brewery makes and packages all kinds of beverages. Another worker told us the chemicals were being used to clean their lines and may have been applied by a new employee who didn't know what they were doing. The fire department says 10 people who came in direct contact with the chemicals were transported to the hospital and there was no threat to the immediate area. We neutralized and had everyone kind of in an area um, safe distance from the chemicals. Around 350 employees were evacuated from the plant, but eventually allowed to return. Employees we talked to couldn't tell us much about the worker who was seriously hurt. I'm hoping she's okay. I'm glad was everybody was able to get out. Now, again, that threat, the fire department says, was contained in the plant behind us. The fire department says they are expecting some sort of statement from the company about what happened. We also tried to contact Blue City's uh, brewery to find out what they had to say, but have not heard back from them. Reporting live tonight in southeast Memphis, Melissa Moon, WREG, News Channel 3. All right, looking for answers so that won't happen again. Melissa, thanks.